Hey guys, it's Tom and Neil with the River Bluff Baggers and we're going to do a short install, quick one, uh, with the Bobo 2 bike tire pressure monitoring system. And uh, we'll show you how to install it, what it all comes with, and why I'm doing it. So, here we go. I just got this in the mail the other day. It comes with everything you're gonna need. A nice little uh, quick start guide, and it goes to an app on your phone, tells you which app to download, whether it's a Apple or a uh, Android. Uh, it comes with the actual tire monitoring system. And since it is a little bigger, that actually comes with, if you need to, you can go and have straight valve stems put on your bike. If yours comes out and turns to the left so it doesn't catch on your brake rotors or anything, you can uh, have these installed on your rims and then it's straight up and down. So, and it comes with an extra set of batteries and the locking tool, I believe that's what that is for the lock nut so it is tight on the bike. So let's get started. If you're uh, if you're riding a bagger, you know that taking a saddlebag off and getting down on the ground just to check your tire pressure is a royal pain in the ass. And excuse the French, but <laughs> everybody knows it is. So with this here, I'll be able to monitor my tire pressure and the heat of the tire right from my phone, which I've got the serial mount right on the dash of my bike for that so i've already read through the instructions kind of got an idea actually supposed to do the front tire but as long as you connect it to each one i think i'll be all right won't i neil yeah yeah absolutely so somebody out enjoying the nice weather today Take your little safety tab off, put the battery back in. It's a little windy today. Tighten this back up. And then this here screws right on your valve stem. And then we'll. Now I'm going to screw this onto the tire, and then I'm supposed to touch my mobile phone to it and then it says to hit proceed so put a little bit of air all right now then touch my phone to it. hit proceed installation installing Now I checked my tire pressure with the uh, tire pressure and it said it was at uh, 43 pounds and right now it's showing 41.9 so that is uh, go ahead and hit skip there so you can see the so the back tire yeah it's showing the back tire which is 41.9 I got it in uh, and it's 75.2 degrees so it is cooled down shows the battery level at 3.1 volts so uh, now we're going to try to get the uh, front tire installed. Take my little plastic wheel out of the kids on the tricycle. Hot Wheels. Now on my front tire, I didn't do this on the back tire, but on my front tire, I am going to put the locking nut on it 
just because it's a lot easier to get to and somebody might actually want to take it off my bike if they have a bad one or whatnot. Now somehow, some way, I've never seen this before in my life, you got both stems where we needed them. And, and that is true. <laughs> How I'm did you do that? How did you do that? I don't know. Just a lucky day. There, got it. Screw that all the way down. And then we'll put the uh, monitor on. Did you buy this off of Amazon? I did get this off of Amazon. So I got mine. And you know, it's 99 bucks. Uh, I just put tires on my bike last summer, well, last fall. Basically, I put my front tire on right before winter. Uh, I put my rear tire on. And if you go back and look at some of our videos, we did an Arkansas trip and I, I run her down to the uh, cords on that tire. Um, now I checked my tires, my pressure before I left for that trip and I thought I had plenty of tread to get back home and knew it was gonna have to be replaced. But uh, no, I, did, I didn't make it. Uh, we was down there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I ended up having to get a tire on it on Sunday. So, yeah, check that video out. We'll put a link right here for it. Now it's then, pretty interesting part of our journey. That's it. Okay, now for the front. All tire. right, now we're gonna add the uh, front tire. You hold down on that, install, hold it up there. Hit install. Proceed. Picking up my back sensor. Yeah. Take it off for eight seconds. Put it back in there. Try it again. Oh, I ain't got the nut tightened yet, so. Eight seconds. You gonna do Mississippi or alligator? Uh, One alligator. Mississippi, <laughs> two alligator, <laughs> three alligator, <Four>. etc. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a little fun while we're doing this, of course. All right, does everybody think it's been eight seconds? I think it's been eight seconds. All right, it'll take me five seconds to get it screwed back on there. Lane Frost already rode a bull in that time, so we're good. Try. Now I did not check the tire pressure on this tire, so we're gonna see where it's at for the first time. Installation complete. Oh, got a low tire. That's not showing up. There it is, 39.2. So there you go. Uh, 
I need to put a little air in the tire so it's already paid for itself before I take off and ride this thing. I'll know that I have to put some air in this tire. And I do have a little uh, little gadget I bought online. This little dude here. Um, well, actually I did not buy it. We had a buddy buy us, all three of us, one of these. And it's a tire pressure and it also tells you how much pressure you got in the tire or all that. So we're just gonna go ahead. And it's also a battery bank, so you can charge stuff with this. And it's a compressor? It'll it, is, it, up. it is an air compressor, yeah. yes. Oh, then I'll have to tighten this down probably to get this on. And sure enough, it says I'm at 40 pounds. We set it at 42. Pump her up. Say so it, it, it'll shut off when it gets to the 42. There it is. Now my tire should have at least 42 pounds of pressure into it. So we'll put the sensor back on. And again, these are Fobo, F O B O, Fobo 2s, I think is what they are. Yes, Fobo 2s. Bike. Uh-oh. It's still saying, oh, it says 40. Well, yeah, you'll have to go pressure. in there and change oh, your settings. Yeah. Because it's reading what the defaults are. So yeah. when you set it to what you want it, that should be right in range, okay. don't you think? Yeah, I have not set any of the, uh, the settings up on it yet. Uh, yeah, the max is set at 36 right now, so I'll set that to... Uh, I like running my, my back tire to about 42, and my front tire I run about 40 to 41. Um, I put it a little high right now because it's still cold out, and we'll see uh, with the salt and stuff on the road still. Uh, I like to have a little bit high, but as, the, uh, as it starts warming up and the heat in the tires gets higher, I'll have to let a little air out of them, I'm sure. So. Hopefully this will prolong the life of my tires if I run the uh, right air pressure in them and tires are getting more expensive and harder to find. So I'm gonna try to make these tires last as long as possible. Um, you know, I wasn't a believer in them. I wouldn't do it for a while. These guys have not had any problems. I know Jerry's had his at least two years and you've had yours a year and a half for sure. And you've not had any problems with them whatsoever. So. As far as install and a review right now, I'd say there a go. They're under a hundred bucks. Get you a set. If you got a bagger, especially that back tire is a pain in the butt to check. So uh, try to uh, try to install these and that keeps you from getting on your hands and knees to do that every time you get the bike out for a ride if you haven't rode it for a while. So again, check it out. Yeah, Bobo too. Seems like something we would like a simple install for just a couple of minutes, but we just kind of wanted to show you the process, walk you through what it looks like. And uh, again, I've been really pleased with mine. It's just so nice to click on that button on the phone, just see right where you are uh, to be able to uh, make any air pressure adjustments that you need. And uh, I think for the safety of it all, again, just trying to be conscious of what your tire pressures are. Uh, it's a, a fantastic, fantastic addition to the bike. I'll put a link to the Fobo 2 uh, Amazon purchasing site. And uh, again, River Bluff Baggers here. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, see you on down the road. See you guys.